Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today I'm doing some maintenance on one of the trucks. This is a 2008 Chevy Express. It's got a 6.0 liter engine in it. And we're, we're using Valvoline. We've always used Valvoline. And the question today for everybody is, does a Fram oil filter really work? You know, I did a video several years ago about noisy lifters. By the way, same truck. Um, and they showed... They saw me put their Fram filter on there, and the comments were just unbelievable. Um, that and the vice grips, but you know, saying all oh, Frams are the worst filters. Hey, let's find out. I'm going to do this with the Fram filter. That's all I've used. I'll start the truck up when we're done. You take a look. Okay, so using your handy dandy vice grips, go ahead and clamp them on there and pop, pop it loose. It just needs to break the seal. Then you can just easily unscrew this oil pan nut, the drain plug, real simple. Be ready, that oil is going to come out of there. So I've got my bucket underneath here. There it goes. So we're going to let that drain. Remember this holds six quarts and the filter. And last oil change was just about almost 3,000, not quite 3,000 miles ago. We'll let this drain and we'll go on the other side there and we'll take off the oil filter. So here's our oil filter, the old one that's up there. And it's a Fram. <laughs> I'm gonna take my oil filter wrench and get it on here and unscrew it. A little slippery here because I've got a lot of sand on it from where we drive a lot. And I'm also doing it with one hand. But yeah, you can see it just starts to unspin really easy. And once it starts to unspin, you can see the oil coming out of this thing. I think this is a major flaw design in the way Chevy put their things together, but it works. <laughs> so we unscrew the filter. We're gonna let that drop down into our oil pan here. A little splash. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And then we're going to take our new filter right here. You see our new filter. You see the O-ring on the top. What we want to do is get a little bit of oil, old oil. Here we go. And spread it around the O-ring so it makes it easy and makes a nice tight fit when we put it back up onto the oil filter nut. And we'll clean that off too. But we'll go ahead and set our filter up there. Again, doing it with one hand, so, you know, bear with me. But we already drained the oil, and now we're just screwing the filter on. And a lot of people say, just put it on their hand tight. Um, I've always used the wrench, give it about three quarters inch turn. And a lot of times, if you've seen some of the other videos, you know, it looks like I'm really cranking it down, but it's just because the oil filter wrench slips. So let's put the wrench up there. So you get your wrench on there and just, just kind of snug it a little bit. And again, it looks like I'm tightening, but it's just slipping off of there. There we go. That should do it. Let's clean it off again. And behind it, nice. So again, Fram oil filter. Um, I've, that's all I've ever used on this truck. And I'm gonna show you that mileage. You're gonna be surprised. Okay, so now we're gonna put the oil plug back in. And we're gonna tighten that up with our hand first. Just screw it in there so it goes on nice and securely. And then we're going to take our handy dandy vice grips <laughs> or a 9 16 inch wrench, whichever one you want to use, <laughs> and we're going to tighten it up. Using your handy dandy vice grips, just clamp them right on to that nut and you just snug it up tight and that's it. Now again, you could use a 9 16 inch wrench, but since I made that video using vice grips, about noisy filters it's just hilarious what people have written and i mean you know you use what you got so 
So that was a really quick oil change, took less than five minutes, and um, now we're going to put some oil in. But you know, there's a lot of great videos. I think you can find a video on auto repair, everything from changing transmissions to turning the key on the ignition. I mean, it's all out there. There's a really good uh, guy out there named Scotty. He's got some tremendous videos out there on how to fix something on your car. Great advice. Um, I love his entrance, you know, the intro to his video. Got a car revving up, makes lots of noise. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's go ahead and put the oil in here and we'll start it up. So I've always used Valvoline. I, I don't know, gray oil, good oil, doesn't matter, but I've always used Valvoline and I've used the Fram filter like I showed you. Um, this is my truck calls for 5W30, and we're going to put that in. Take six quarts, a six liter engine takes six quarts. So let's go ahead and pour that in to our handy dandy funnel, 89 cents at Walmart. Like I said, you know, I've done lots of other work on this, this truck, and the water pump was probably the, the hardest thing. And that really, I should have made a video. It only took about an hour to do um, something else I did. Uh, breaks that takes you know 10 20 minutes um, I'm not really sure there was a few other things that I did but this is the, the a really simple task putting oil in your your car your no leaks here no leaks here listen to that engine purr 500,000 miles so we started the truck and there you can see it, that says 498,265 miles. Just a few miles shy of 500,000. That'll be our next oil change. So the point of the video is number one, Fram oil filters, I think they're the same as any other oil filter. And if you maintain your truck or your car, you're not gonna have any problems. And it depends on your driving habits, I guess, but this truck's running great. We drive hundreds of miles every day. We have to have a good running truck, and you know, so we have to maintain it. Something that you should do as well. Make sure you maintain all the fluids. Uh, anything that your car requires, you should take care of that. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Trains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. I didn't have any gloves on and I'm going to use some hand cleaner but I guarantee you that if you had gloves on you're still going to clean your hands